I'm Poppy Crum. I'm a senior scientist at Dolby Laboratories, and I'm also a consulting professor at Stanford University at Karma, the Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics. We're here today because you are at the Sonic Synapse Arcade. It's open house for a course I teach in neuroplasticity and musical gaming. Uh, it's the synthesis of how we take what we know about the brain and what we know about neuroscience and try to leverage that into something that uh, people can use, something that is actually create a product, create a game, create an environment that we can make it fun to train our brains, to learn new skills, to increase our cognitive capacity, to teach us how to sing music, to teach us how to dance better. So our game is Overtone and it is a game for pitch training. So the goals of this game are twofold. So the first is to, in a noisy environment where multiple tones are being played, to isolate the tone, the pitch of a single tone in that mess of kind of tones and retain that pitch in your memory long enough to be able to reproduce it through singing. The game works as follows. So you're presented with kind of a simple graphical interface like this where there are currently at the start there are no uh, links between the nodes. Um, you are presented with kind of uh, a series of tones through the headphones that are played kind of asynchronously and overlapping on each other making it difficult to distinguish the pitch of each given tone. And so what happens is, as you kind of start to focus in on each of the tones and kind of identify the pitch uh, and mentalize the pitch and internalize it, you start to sing. And as you start to sing, and if you kind of can match the pitch of one of these tones, uh, a beam will emanate from one of these nodes and start to connect with the other target node. The name of our game is Pubbles, and the motivation behind the game is that across the world, English has become the global language. It's used not just to connect native speakers with each other, native speakers with non-native speakers, but also to connect non-native speakers with each other. So there's a lot of variation across accents in the world, and because the phonological rules are different in these different accents, it can present difficulties when speakers of different accents talk to each other. Our ultimate hope is like if we can teach people to hear sound contrasts like this in other accents of English, we can help people across the world who are speaking English to each other understand each other better. What we wanted to do was create a game that would help people localize sounds in their environment. So basically we wanted to use binaural cues to train people to correctly identify the angle and elevation of sounds coming at them. So we created a game in which you control a gun basically and you hear incoming enemies coming from different directions and you point where you think the enemy is coming from and you fire and you get a feedback whether you hit or miss the enemy. The way we tested whether our subjects were improving at the task was with just a very simple task in which we had spatialized sounds um, that were played over headphones and then you would click on the screen just basically saying where, wherever you perceive the sound and then we looked, we looked at the variance for a couple of target sounds on each diagnostic test. You can put somebody in an environment that they just want to spend hours playing it and hours working at it. You have the potential and the possibility to take that to another level and to actually really um, change things.